I think the best way to describe the style or imagery that I'm going for is the opening to the David Fincher, A Girl with a Dragon Tattoo. And I don't think I even knew that that was something that I wanted or was going for. I'm starting the search for a new piece, whether I'm going to buy one or my dad even has a lathe, maybe I'll try to make one myself. I don't know, I, I need a bigger piece though. The ones I was working with were about that big. I want something maybe that big. As you can tell, the house is completely torn apart right now, but at this point, I just have to go for it. I've been putting off making the final image for the chess fine art piece, and I don't know why this is the time I have to do it, because I spent the last three days gutting the kitchen and the front room, and I'm tired, but it's gotta be done. So here we go. Now we have to shift our focus into how are we going to get a physical photo of what's up in here. Now I mentioned the David Fincher, a girl with a dragon tattoo opener, which is a very liquid molding thing. Another uh, reference that I have is the opening to Daredevil. It's a very similar aesthetic, just red, not black, in the sense that it's like wax melting and objects melting. And that's the direction that I want this whole project to go rather than where we started. And I think the end result is going to be 20 times better than the results from our test shoot. So what we have here is, of course, our chess piece. I went to Walmart to pick up all of the supplies at once so that I would have them on hand. The first thing that I got is a 3 8 wooden dowel. So I was able to get my 3 8 drill bit and drill a hole into the back of this chess piece. So I have the 3 8 wooden dowel hooked into the chess piece on one side. And back there, I have a light stand with a mini grip head from Super Flags holding it up and I've just pierced a hole right in the middle of this black background. And so everything disappears and when layered correctly, looks flawless. So we now have a floating chess piece. This as well was picked up at Walmart a long time ago. I used to use this for developing chemicals. I got a new one and a new chemical setup. So I'm reusing this to catch the paint as I dump the paint on top of it because I realized I love that look and that aesthetic of tons of dripping, not just one singular drip like we did in the tests, dripping paint. So I can catch the paint in here, which allows me to then pour it back into the paint container and reuse it if I have to and avoid making a mess. So that sits right there on the table underneath out of view. And that's basically our setup. The only thing left is going to be lighting. One thing I opted to do this time in order to really capture and freeze the drips of paint is I'm going to be using flash. Instead of continuous lighting, that way I can have a high output strobe or a speed light in this case um, to really just push it out there and freeze that. And so what I'm going to do is light this similar to maybe a alcohol bottle you would see if you're into product photography. I'm going to have one overhead kind of side light 
um, very diffused and that's going to be our key since the piece is going to be at a 45 degree angle that's why I say it's kind of an overhead kind of a side light because technically it is going to just be hitting the side of the object it's going to be coming straight down right here and we're going to wrap it around with some diffusion so it's going to have the light dome mini 2 from aperture to first spread out and diffuse that light but then we're also going to throw in an additional diffusion at an angle like this so that we can really just wrap that spread around our black object and the lighting is going to be key here for separation and contrast since we are still shooting this black and white it's just going to put a very soft and wrapping edge light on our top side hey there uh editing ryan just stepping in for a second to explain that i did get very passionate explaining what i was going to do it ended up actually not working and so i'm just gonna briefly explain that i ended up doing a double exposure for the final image i did everything as i've explained thus far and then since i only have one speed light i ended up hand holding it as a kicker to highlight the drips and firing the second exposure Let's get into it. I'll show you guys what I'm doing, how I'm setting it up, and let's check out the final images. 